Good afternoon, everybody. I'm getting a late start on my fragrance of the day. Uh, this morning, I had to head out to a meeting. That's why I'm dressed the way I am, wearing my original Kenzo uh, shirt. Um, and that's from Kensington in uh, Philadelphia. And uh, I was going to a meeting where a lot of people know me as Kensington Bob. <laughs> I was going to go out to, to breakfast with some people, and I did. So I'm just getting back from a late breakfast. We, we had breakfast about 12.30 uh, after the meeting. And, uh, you know, I didn't know what I was going to wear. I knew it was going to be a big group of people today. I was going to go out to breakfast with them. And uh, in the last, maybe three weeks ago, I got an order in from Fragrance Net. And sometimes I said this, sometimes what I'll do on Fragrance Net when I get that 35% sale I won't buy a bottle of anything. I'll look at, I'll search travel sprays and I'll pick up three or four travel sprays, usually four or four or five. I think I had five in this order that maybe I want to try little samples, you know? And uh, in this one, I got uh, Blue Mediterranean, um, Micho de Pano Panera. I think it's Panera. <laughs> I'll put it down. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this one, this one's kind of interesting. It's, it's by uh, Francoid Damachi who's, you know, Dior fame, the Dior perfumer, the master perfumer. And uh, so that, I found that really interesting, you know, when I saw that name on there. And I like these little Blue Mediterraneo series. I don't have, I have some two of them in, in decants. I have Fico di Amalfi and I have this one now. Uh, and the reason I get them in the little decants, you know, I only paid like 13 bucks for this or something, I, I think. And they're, they're usually inexpensive anyway, if you pick up the little blue bottles, uh, the smallest one. I think they're usually around about 60 and you can even pick up a pack of them for like five for about 70 bucks and you get the five different ones. And that's why I'm getting these little samples from Fragrance Net whenever I see them out there because I want to see what they smell like. I have a bigger you know, collection and I don't always want to buy a big bottle. That's something if you're new, um, you know, when you get to that point, you'll, you'll realize, hey, I didn't really need that 100 ml bottle if I'm going to have more than one fragrance. Uh, if I'm going to have you know, a few, bunch to choose from. I'm probably not going to use that whole 100 mil. Now, there's things you could do with that. You could learn how to decant yourself. You could sell them. Yeah, you know, all kinds of stuff. But um, anyway, I, I just bought this, and I'm fine with this. It's 8 mil. It'll last me. You know, 8 mil usually lasts about 120 sprays, I think it is, or something like that. And I'm, you know, sometimes you see me 14 sprays, and that's for the uh, 14 sprays minimum group. But I'm really on Team Sissy Spray, or uh, not Sissy Spray. I, I think I sprayed just the right amount. Uh, you know, I do three, four, five, six sometimes. On this, I sprayed a little heavier. On this, I actually did spray six before I left. But I could still smell it. It's but it. This is a, these are kind of light anyway on the lighter side anyway. So uh, they become skin scents. And but even driving home, I did smell it. So uh, you know, that's what I'm wearing today. And I'm gonna have to look down on my notes. Okay, probably. And what it has is it has uh, myrtle, which I didn't know. What that's sort of an aromatic uh, flower. And then it had lemon and bergamot and, uh, oh, and then basil. That basil, yeah, you, you do get that. So that's really nice, that basil. A little bit of it, you know? Um, and then it has uh, uh, C notes, jasmine, and rose. So uh, that jasmine and rose combo I like, too. And the C notes, you know, obviously it's a, it's a knock with a parma blue Mediterranean. So C notes should be in there. And then it has juniper, which is, which is really good. Um, it has cedar and it has something called mastic. And I had to look that up. That's like a resin that they say smells like turpentine, but I don't get any of that. Um, so I don't know. And then it has amber and that's on the base. So, uh, I really like it. I actually do like this. And, uh, and you know, it is by that Frank Coy Demachi and I know I'm killing his name, but Hey, uh, he used to call that guy Kerjadian. Uh, what's his name? So yeah, I'm from Philly. We, we don't do names too well. Billy. <laughs> so, but anyway, I think it's Frank Coy Damachi. And, uh, you know, he's the guy of, uh, of uh, Dior fame. And interesting, so I'm thinking, well, I'm not dressed for Aqua de Parma. I got my Kenzo shirt on. And then I went up and looked, Frank, Frank Coy Damachi, and he's made two of the Kenzo fragrances. Two of the sport ones, actually. Ken Kenzo, Kenzo Por Homme Sports. Sport and Sport Extreme, he made them. So see, I picked out the right shirt anyway. It just works out that way. Sometimes, sometimes God just makes things work out the way the way they're meant to work out. And uh, with that, I, I just wanted to add some more stuff to this. Uh, one thing is, I was on another live on YouTube yesterday. And I don't mean I was on the live. I wasn't in the panel. I'm in the contents, com comments, where I can joke around and share and enjoy. 
And uh, this, this live happened to be by my friend, Melissa Villanueva, and uh, she's on YouTube, she's on Instagram, and uh, it's worth checking her out. She's usually on Saturdays, and uh, she had two subjects yesterday. She was, she was doing date night fragrances, and she was doing um, celebrity crushes. So she had part of it was fragrance and part of it was crushes and it was a good conversation with all. Um, you know, and, and the thing about that, you know, I, I've been mentioning lives that, uh, you know, lives should be informative, they should be fun, but they shouldn't be where anybody puts anybody down or, you know, any of that stuff and uh, starts fights just for clicks and all that stuff. So, you know, and hers was really nice and it was good and we had some fun talking about different things. And I mentioned that two of Mrs. Fritz's date night fragrances, she's not really into fragrances, uh, her two would be uh, Un Garden uh, Sir de la Lagoon by Hermes. And uh, the other one would be Bella Blanca by Oscar de Laurenta. But she only has like six fragrances. But then, last night, she took a shower. And I, lo I, I completely forgot what her date night fragrance is. But I have it right here. It's Jean de Tay, Body Mist. That's the date. That's the serious date night fragrance for Mrs. Fritz. All right, this is the serious one, and it's just an after an after shower spritz. And uh, so anyway, that's what it is. Jean de Tay. It's been from, from 1935, but it's still selling, and people still buy it. And uh, one of her sisters, who is in the fragrance, she says she layers with this. So anyway, uh, thought I'd mention that to Melissa Villanueva. And if you don't know who Melissa is. Check her out, Melissa Villanueva. She's a, uh, you know, she's on YouTube. She is a reviewer. Uh, she's been in this. She's been in fragrance a lot longer than I have. Uh, and 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 as I said, some of these people you should be checking out. And that brings me to what I'm wearing again today. I found a whole new reviewer that I had never heard of, and I, I don't know his name. I don't know if he's on Instagram, but he is on YouTube, because I'm not a reviewer, as I say many times, and I have two people that put me on as an up-and-coming reviewer or somebody should check out, but don't don't listen to them. I'm not a reviewer. Don't check me out. <laughs> but I will give you one to check out because I check out reviewers. I go look at reviews. I go look. I read the notes. I do all that. There was one I found today called Urban Dweller, Urban Space Dweller on YouTube. And he just it just happened to pop up when I did this particular uh, Aqua de Parma. And, it, and, and he's a really cool guy. And he actually does something with the notes that I do. And he points out, you know, that about like uh, one of my friends pointed out, you know, if, you're, if you are going to be a reviewer, you probably don't want to do what I do where you read all the notes. And he points something in out that he makes it kind of funny in his video. So, uh, you know, but that's the difference between me and a reviewer. I, I actually talk about other reviewers and point you to them because I'm not a reviewer. I'm someone still learning. So, uh, but do check out this Urban Dweller. He was he was pretty good and pretty funny and pretty informative about this. So uh, with that, uh, have a nice day. Pray for peace. Uh, and please help me be kind. <coughs> and a reviewer went cough and not remake it. So have a nice day and please be kind. Thank you.